Hello Aggies, this is Paulina Hare with Aggie TV. We are here today with Associate Professor of Psychology, Brian Wilchin, at the Center for Neuroscience. Um, would you mind telling us how did you get involved with this experiment? Yeah, so this is a project we've been working on for probably about four years now. And we study a brain structure called the hippocampus. That's important for memory. And so with this particular project, what we wanted to know was uh, kind of to test an old theory about uh, how the hippocampus helps you retrieve memories. And so uh, what we did was it activate the hippocampus to see if we could uh, erase particular memories from an experience that the animal had. And, um, and so that's how this experiment got started. We just wanted to see whether or not um, we'd be able to do that. So what we do is uh, we put the animals into a conditioning chamber. Mm -hmm. um, and the first thing we do just for a few minutes is let them walk around. Mm -hmm. And what they do is the same thing that we would do, which is they form a sort of map of the place, so a representation of the space. So they get to know I'm in this box. And then what happens at the very end of that is they get a mild foot chuck, which they don't like. <laughs> and, uh, and so what happens is they, they no longer like the box. So they, they develop this sort of uh, fear response um, when they're put back into the box and we call it freezing. And what happens is when they go in there and they get scared, if they remember this is that place, then they become completely motionless. Um, and that's what we use to uh, index memory. So how much they freeze. And it's just kind of a nice response to use because it's robust and it's, it's the uh, natural defensive behavior they have because they're predators. When they look for the mice, they depend on motion. If the mouse moves, they can see it. So if you're scared, the best thing you can do if you're a mouse is freeze and not move. So that's what we use to index memory. So when you, the animal was walking around the box, um, it was processing all of the different uh, stimuli that were present in the box and that activates the cortex. And what the hippocampus is thought to do is reactivate all of those cortical regions and when it does that the animal can remember oh yeah I've been here before so the next step was when Kazu silenced and produced amnesia he then looked at what happened in the cortex and what he found is that those neurons that were active during learning in the cortex couldn't be reactivated so the hippocampus does in fact seem to be necessary to activate cortical areas and when it does then memories retrieved and when it can't then the animal shows amnesia.